Hi Capricorn, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. We're going to do your reading here in a moment. Just a couple of things before we start. Uh, everything you need to know is in the description box. There will be an extended reading link below. It'll be in the description box and in the comments. So in the extended, I will look at the next three to four weeks energy moving forward from this reading, and I treat it like a personal reading. Uh, more details about the extended later, so check it out if you like. So with that, uh, Capricorn, let's get started here. Thank you, Spirit and Angels, for your guidance. What messages do we have for Capricorn? Messages for Capricorn in love. What does Capricorn need to know? Okay. So we have the moon, Pisces, Cancerian energy. We have the four of wands, the ten of pentacles, Page of Swords, Eight of Cups, Six of Wands, okay, Let's see what we got here, we have the Magician, we have the Lovers, well, I guess we'll put this down here, we have the Queen of Cups, and we have the Queen of Pentacles, all right. Okay, Capricorn. Actually, let's just finish this off. Let's pull a couple more. What else can you share with Capricorn? We have the world. And we have the Page of Pentacles. Interesting. Okay. And we also have the Hangman and the Ten of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Okay. With this energy, Capricorn, I feel like there's more than one person in your energy. We have two queens here, and it's not about male or female. It's about the energy, okay? I feel like you, ha you have the moon, the eight of cups, and the queen of cups, okay? So there's an energy here, I feel like. Maybe not feeling satisfied, um, you know, maybe about a situation in your love life or somebody specific here in your love life, okay? So there's an energy here of walking away, exploring other options, whether it's you or someone you know here, take it how it resonates. So I feel like Capricorn, uh, there's definitely a relationship manifest in here. You have the four of wands, the six of wands, and you also have here the queen of pentacles. Okay, I feel like uh, this is your energy, the queen of pentacles, Capricorn. I feel like there's a situation like emotionally it was not fulfilling for you. And I see you exploring other options. I see with the six of wands that you're getting other people's attention. And I see this over here. I feel like there is a new energy coming into your life, Capricorn. Now, there's somebody here you may have walked away from, or maybe they walked away. Uh, we're going to clarify some of these energies. We're going to see what they're about. But look at this. You have the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Magician. And I have to cover the World card. And you have the World card here. So we have Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Energy. You're manifesting, I feel here, something really stable, a stable relationship. Now, I'm going to say it could be the same person, you know, take it how it resonates. But what's interesting here, because I almost feel like there's two people here. Because if you look at this, you and i got to cover this again. We have a page of uh, swords, a page of pentacles, and we have lovers. So I feel, again, we have two queens, we have two pages here. I feel somebody here is being distant and I feel somebody here, you're going to get a message. And I feel like it's a new person. I feel there's a new energy here with the lovers. Now, um, so it shows me here, Capricorn, you may have a choice in love. So we're going to clarify here. So this is showing me walking away, exploring other opportunities, you getting attention, you manifesting here a whole new cycle, a new beginning here, and a choice in love. So the choice may be to walk away from something that's not fulfilling, 
and um, moving towards something solid and stable towards your Ten of Cups here, taking you out of a place of limbo, okay? Maybe uh, a situation that wasn't working, unstable energy here, right, towards your happiness. Look at that, Leo energy, and we have justice here. So bringing things back into balance, bringing good karma, got Libra energy there as well. We also have here Gemini. So let's clarify uh, the energies here and see if we can get more details about this. I feel like you're going to have a choice here, Capricorn. So if you're dealing with someone, now some of you, it just could be you're exploring your options. Right, if you didn't have anybody uh, recently or someone that you're still thinking about. So let's start with this Eight of Cups. Please tell me more about the Eight of Cups. Please tell me more about the Eight of Cups. Okay, Eight of Swords, another Eight there. Chariot, Cancerian Energy, and the Knight of Swords. Okay. Yeah, I feel like there is somebody that you have dealt with, Capricorn that in the past, I feel like they weren't stable. This is someone I feel who has kept you stuck. There's somebody I feel who's kept you stuck emotionally. And you have the chariot and you have the knight of swords. So I feel like this is an energy of you uh, exploring other options, moving forward. And with this knight of swords, I feel like this is someone who, um, I see the knight of swords as someone who can come in really quickly right? You could get communication from this person or they come into your life, but they could leave just as quickly, all right? It's like they're always on the go type of energy here. I always see the Knight of Swords always on the go. Um, could be quite adventurous or, you know, they're just in and out of your life. But we have the wheel here. Yeah, look at that. There's the tower again. I feel there's divine intervention here, Capricorn, because I feel like there's a situation that um, you may not have been satisfied. Or maybe some of you, right, maybe a whole lot's not been going on in your love life and you've decided now I'm going to move towards um, my happiness. Now, as I said here, we have the Ten of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, your energy, and let's clarify the Six of Wands. Tell me more about the Six of Wands. Tell me more about the Six of Wands. I feel like you're going to be getting more than one person here's attention. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Options. Three of Wands. The Sun card. And the Queen of Wands. Yes, look at that. And Page of Wands. I feel like Capricorn, by walking away from a situation that you just have felt unsatisfied about, Look at that. You feel more motivated, optimistic. Also here, I feel like this, again, another page. I feel like there are going to be people who are reaching out to you, who are communicating to you. Look at that. Three of Wands, um, the Sun, and the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands here feeling more like you're more motivated, you're more excited, you feel more passionate about life, a little bit more carefree, I'm feeling, with this page of Wands. Very attractive you know, sexy, attractive, looking good. Like I said, I feel like you're going to be getting attention from other people here. I feel like you're going to have more options than maybe um, feeling stuck in a past situation is the energy that I am picking up. Now you're manifesting something here. Let's clarify this magician. Tell me more. The heart of your reading is very strong energy. That's why I said I feel like you're manifesting definitely uh something new here tell me more about this magician okay we have a king of swords a ten of cups and a king oh my god look at that two kings two kings two queens two pages i don't think i've ever had this happen like so many uh counterparts in one reading and we have temperance sagittarius energy so look at this. This is what I'm saying. You're manifesting. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now it could be the same person, but look at that. There's two kings here and it's not about, again, not about uh, male or female. It's the energy. Ten of cups. You're manifesting your happiness here. 
I see communication. I feel like you're going to get communication here from at least one of the one of these uh, two people here. Now, like I said, there could be somebody distant and somebody. We're going to clarify these and somebody new here. Um, it does feel like there is someone here who sees a lot of happiness with you. Let's see what we get here. Yeah, temperance and the ace of wands. So there could be, um, and definitely feel a new opportunity here, a choice between two. And oh, I have to say this, I just saw the five of wands, competition here. There's going to be people fighting, <laughs> fighting, not fighting, literally fighting, but people wanting your attention, Capricorn. Let's clarify this lovers. Tell me more about the lovers. Please tell me more about the lovers. Okay, look at that. Four of Wands again. The Eight of Wands. Oh my gosh, Capricorn. And the Ace of Cups. Yes, look at that. Clarifying the Lovers. You have the Four of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Ace of Cups. Oh, I gotta clear, I gotta cover it. So there is somebody new, I feel, Capricorn, coming into your life. A new opportunity that could lead to a relationship. And that's what I was saying here. I feel there's a situation that has been unsatisfying. Maybe you just haven't done anything to meet anybody. And some of you, I feel like there's a specific person where you just don't feel like you're seeing a whole lot of change or movement. And look, here it is, Two of Cups and the Two of Wands. So I feel like Capricorn, if you're making the decision to, you know, put yourself out there, meet other people, there is definitely a soulmate partner coming into your life that I feel is going to bring you a lot of happiness and even a relationship here and commitment. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Now I want to clarify these two pages because I feel like there could be one that uh, you know and one that um, may be distant, okay? But this could also be someone who is very curious about you, this new energy I'm seeing. So let's clarify why is the Page of Swords here, please. Tell me more about this Page of Swords. Okay, the Tower. Feeling like this is uh, somebody here from your past who's distant. Two of Wands. Oh boy, Two of Cups. Interesting. And we also have here the Five of Swords. Now before I say anything, I want to clarify this Page of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Page of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles. The Page of Wands. Okay, and the star card, Aquarius energy, interesting. And we have the six of pentacles and the page of pentacles again. All right, so I'm definitely getting communication. And with the six of pentacles, I feel like you're going to have a choice between two, where to put your time and energy. So clarifying the page of swords, we have the tower, the two of wands, and we have the two of cups. All right, yeah. So what I'm sensing here, okay, this is someone who's curious about you. I feel this page of swords is um, a new person. So they may be around you, very curious about you. You have the tower, the two of wands, and the two of cups. This is someone you're not expecting. I feel like this is someone who's planning to come towards you, right? Somebody who's planning um, some sort of message, communication, reaching out, um, now, if you're online dating, it could be somebody online. Dating. But I feel like this is somebody here with this tower, somebody you're not expect expecting to come towards you, somebody who is planning here. They could even live at a little bit of a distance, but you have the Two of Cups here too. This could be a, the, a strong soul mate partner here is what I'm seeing. Now, clarifying this Page of Pentacles, we have the Four of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, and we have... The star card. Now it could be somebody new, okay, but I feel like this could be someone who has kind of kept things casual. Feels like this person here who may have 
you know, made you feel stuck emotionally, could be an Aquarius, but I feel like this is someone, uh, you're going to hear from this person too, okay? Now, maybe you're already talking to this person already. Um, it just feels like they don't give a whole lot, uh, but I feel like this person's still going to try and hold on to you. That's what I feel like with that Four of Pentacles. So, um, let's see where this is all going capricorn i'm gonna pull a few more of these a few more of the tarot and then some love oracles okay <laughs> look at that seven of cups you have options you may feel confused right like not knowing you know who's the better option here we got uh, the knight of cups okay romantic opportunity yeah again showing me you're going to have more than one option there's that ace of cups that we saw earlier okay so a new offer here this is the romantic opportunity you're going to have more than one choice here oh yeah and then there's the decision there's the decision capricorn i feel like right there's there's a situation i feel you've dealt with in the past that may be coming around uh, or someone here who doesn't want to let you go but it feels like they don't give a lot but I feel there's an opportunity, Capricorn. You're gonna, you're gonna, a new romance. It looks um, pretty good here. So let's uh, see what the love oracles have to say. Oh gosh, it's stuck. There it is. <laughs> All right. Thank you, spirit and angels. Now in the extended, I will look at the next three to four weeks energy. We'll see where where things go, right? If it picks up new love, if it picks up this person that you've already been dealing with. Um, and then we will look at what they're, you're, the person here that um, you may be walking away from, what they're thinking, feeling about you, their upcoming actions, their intentions. We'll get some love notes and guidance as well. So let's see what the love oracles say. Oh, liquid courage. Well, someone's coming towards you. Someone's trying to gain the confidence. They could even, you could even get, you know, um, a text after they've been drinking. So let's see what else we got. All right, we got divine intervention here, okay? So there's a reason here. It's interesting because it's with this Knight of Cups. So this could tell me that there is some sort of serendipity moment where you can meet this person. I do feel like they're already around you. So they may already be checking you out. But the two of you may run into each other. Okay. We got ex-lover here. Okay. This is with the options. Okay. So I told you I feel there's, a, there's someone here from your past. I feel who's coming around. Okay. Storm warning. They're telling you. <laughs> Storm warning, okay? Now, it may be, right, there have been obstacles with this person. Uh, there may have been some drama or something happened, and that could be why you're kind of indecisive of what to do when this all goes down. Yeah, you got hook up here. So I told you I feel like this is somebody casual. So this could be someone who's kept things as a casual relationship, Um and then we have here social media. So the, um, they could be spying on you. This is also spying on you. Uh, online dating. I talked about online dating. So some of you could meet this other person online dating. Let's see what else. Okay. And the grass is greener. Okay. Jealousy, better option. Um, so yeah, this could be someone you dealt with in the past, kept things casual. Um thought things were greener on the other side. Okay, so actually it feels like this is their energy that they may be spying on you. Okay, and look, commitment, relationship. So I feel there's a relationship here in the works. Okay, now you do have regret and you have magnetic attraction. So this person here um, that you know, okay, I told you, I feel like you're still going to hear from this person. They're going to try not to let you go. Um, they feel guilty. There's something they feel like they made a mistake. This could be somebody, I would say with this car, you can see there's like alcohol on the table there and we have liquid courage. This could be somebody who you know, maybe they like to party or they could have addictions. And we also have here unfinished business. 
and we also have here soulmate interesting because i feel you have a new soulmate here and then you have this other person where things are unfinished and that brings you at a crossroads so a choice okay so you're gonna have a choice capricorn i feel between two people here i'm gonna take it to the extended we're gonna see how things plays play out i hope to see you there i hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and i'm sending you angel love